Hi, good morning. Today's topic of discussion is movement of goods in batches and lots, and we when we need to create a batchwise details for selling the goods to selling the stock items to the customers. Then how we do this? I'll show you practically today. But before that, I'll show you how we are going to activate stock categories and how we are going to create various stock items. <coughs> So for creating the stock items, we will, we will go to create option. Here I'll go to stock item, and they have given me some stock items name that is buy cycle cover Hercules ten. It will come under the group. I'll need to create a group that is stock. Uh, sorry, size ten, and I'll select the uh, units will be numbers. All right. Next stock item is buy cycle cover. Sharp ten size will be only the same ten numbers. That's it. Next is buy cycle cover Hercules twelve. Now I'll create another stock group over here. Size twelve. Unit will be numbers, and I'll this way by pressing Control plus A, I'll save this thing. Next, last one is buy cycle. Cover sharp twelve. Under the group size twelve, store units will be numbers, and this way we have created the items. All right. <clears throat> Now they have given me one purchase entry for these stock items. They are saying that Shri Devi International purchased the following stock items from Atlas Global. The stocks are kept in local warehouse. So we will go to purchase voucher. Open my purchase voucher, and here my supply invoice number will be P U R zero zero two. Date will be. I'll change the date to second July. I'll change the date over here also. And uh, you know, at last global item is already party account name is already created by me earlier. I'll select purchase ledger as purchase. Now I already created all the stock items here. So I'll select bicycle cover, Hercules ten. Go down is local warehouse. Quantity is hundred. Numbers I'm purchasing at the rate one twenty five per ray. So the total amount comes to be twelve thousand five hundred. Next is bicycle, sharp ten. Bicycle sharp ten. Go local go down. Quantity is hundred numbers at the rate one twenty five per number. So the amount is twelve thousand five hundred. Next, I'll select bicycle Hercules twelve. Go down is local warehouse. Quantity is hundred. Rate is one thirty per number. So it will comes out to be total thirteen thousand. Next buy cycle, sharp twelve. Local warehouse is the go down. Quantity is hundred. At the rate one thirty per number. So this way, this is the whole purchase invoice. So I'll select. Uh, I'll save it. All right. Now after that, what we will do? 
Now we will jump to the topic movement of goods in batches and lots. <clears throat> when we need to activate batch wise details. So first of all, you should know about the batch details. Batch details are used to identify the movement of inventory in batches or loads. Although this is a requirement primarily of the pharmaceutical industry, the same can be used by other industries that maintain or manufacture perishable goods. Many organizations also purchase in batches in order to monitor the results of batch purchase individually. Hence, Teddy Prime has used the term batch and lot. Batches and lots are also often used to monitor the date of manufacture, date of receipts, and date of expiry. Teleprime make provision to enter both the manufacturing dates and the expiry dates to take the season as required. Batchwise details are given for maintaining batch information pertaining to stock items. The manufacturing date and expiry date can be set for the batches. Let us understand how to use the batchwise details feature in Delhi 9 through the below given scenario. <clears throat> now they have given me the scenario that Shri Devi International diversified its business and now started dealing in medicines which is traded in lots and batches. Now it has two grounds namely on-site and stores and it want to keep the track of the expiry and manufacturing dates. So first of all what we will do, we will activate batch wise retail. So for this I will press F11 and here you can see that under inventory features I have an option of enable batches. So I will enable this. Now I will maintain expiry dates for batches. That's it. These are the GST details. We don't require them. Alright. Next is using batch wise details in purchase invoice in this section we will learn to set manufacturing and expiry details and set batch wise details while recording the purchase transaction the transaction is on 1st august 2023 Sri Devi international purchased medicinal drugs from timela pharmaceuticals one box one box contain 100 booster packs of tablets with batch number RGBP001 and manufacturing and expiry dates are <coughs> 31st July 2023 and 31st December 2023 respectively. Name of the stock item is Rensing 10 mg quantity is 1200 box, rate is 200 per box and amount is 240,000. So for this, I'm going to show you this entry practically. The supply invoice number is PU3 PUR003. Date I'll change. I'll change to 1st August 2023. 1st August 2023. Party account name is Timela Pharma Ceuticals under sundry creditor. Purchase ledger. Next thing, uh, name of the stock item I need to create over here is rinsing 10 mg under stock group medicinal drug. Quantity I need to create over here. I already created uh, the quantity box over here and now they have given me additional details like maintain in batches. Do you want to maintain batches for rinsing 10 mg? Yes. And track date of manufacturing? Yes. Use expiry dates? Yes. I will enable all these options. Alright. Next. Now they are asking me the go down. So I will create a go down over here that is on site. On site go down, I'll create over here. New number will be RGBP001.
quantity is <clears throat> 1200 box at the rate 200 per box. So the total comes out to be 240,000. Now manufacturing date is August, uh, it's 31st July and expiry date is what? Expiry date is 31st December 2020. So this way my entry is done. Purchase voucher entry is done. Alright. Next is. Now using batch wide details in sales invoice. Now after purchasing the medicinal drug. Rinsing. Now it's time to sell the medicinal drug. So what they are doing on 1st November 2023. Should they be international sold goods on cash. And generate cash invoice for batch number. RGBP001. For this, I'll open my sales voucher over here. Reference number will be SAL002. Date I'll change from by pressing F2. 1st November 2023 and 1st November 2023. Party account name is nothing. I'm generating the cash sales invoice. So I'll uh, put cash in party account name. Here I'll select sales and here I'll select rinsing. Go down will be uh, my go down will be on site. Manufacturing date I'll select this list of active batches. All right and quantity I'm selling is two hundred. So I have for earlier I had purchased twelve hundred boxes of rinsing ten mg. But out of twelve hundred boxes I'm selling two hundred boxes. At the rate 250 per box. So that means I am selling total 50,000 stock in, at one time. Alright. So this way I have done the entry. Now the next question is. They have told me another sales entry on 1st January 2018. So I will open. I will first of all change the date. That is 1st January. 2024 and reference number over here is SAL003. Party account name is made cash sales and generated cash invoice for batch number RGBP001. So here I will select cash, <coughs> sales ledger, rinsing 10 mg, go down is on site. New number I will create over here. I will create a new number. New number over here RGBP slash 002. And quantity is 30. At the rate 250 per box. Manufacturing date is October. 2023 and the expiry date is 31st March 2023. Alright. So this way my entry is done. Alright. Now the next question they have given me if the batch or stock transfer gets expired while keeping in the godown. So transfer of stock items from one location to another location is recorded in the stock general voucher. In this section we will learn to transfer the expired batches or stocks from one location to another location. They are saying that on 1st January 2023, Sri Devi International transfer expired stock batch number RGBP001 from the on-site go down to the scrap warehouse. Since the stock items got expired, so uh, now uh, they have earlier they purchased medicinal drug of rinsing uh, quantity is 1200, but out of 1200, 200 quantity has been already sold uh, on cash, and now what they are doing is they are uh, transferring 1000 quantity of medicinal drugs from onsite to down to scrap warehouse because 1000 quantity boxes of rinsing medicinal drug has been expired now. 
So for this, what I need to do, I will go to F10 other vouchers, go to stock journal, and here I'll uh, add an item rinsing 10 mg from on site go down. On 1st January. Uh, wait a second. I'll press F12 over here. And here I'll... Yes, I'll enable this option, use expired batches for stock item. Now, you can see that my RGBP001 uh, batch is now showing over here. Quantity is 1000 and rate is 200. So now I'll select over there rinsing and the scrap warehouse. New number I will create over here. I'll create the new number over here as <clears throat> RGBP slash EXP slash RNB underscore 001. Quantity is 1000 at the rate 200. Expiry date is 1st January. How much? 31st December. That's it. So this way I have transferred my expired batch from on-site go down to scrap warehouse. So I hope you understood each and everything very carefully. So that's it for this uh, chapter. So I'll get back with you with some other topics, very interesting topics. So thank you so much.